Hi, my name is Lim Yen Kai, and I'm going to talk about the experiences I had through the four months I spent in Nagoya, Japan. So the university I attended was Aichi Gakuin University, which is a private university with four campuses throughout Aichi Prefecture. The campuses I attended were the Nishin Campus in Nishin City and the Major Coin Campus in Nagoya. The Nishin Campus is more akin to a traditional Japanese-style university campus. It's very big with a lot of different buildings. Well, the major coin campus is more similar to a big office building, I would say. So this exchange program was more akin to a Japanese immersion program. I only had classes on Japanese language and culture, as well as a focus on interaction with Japanese students. As the university only accepts a handful of international students each semester, it strongly encourages students to step out of their comfort zone to properly speak with and share about their cultures with local Japanese students. So my class consisted of five people including me. The two on the left are Soyeon and Yongjun from Korea. The two on the right are Bai Chuan and Yu Hao from Taiwan. While the one in the center is me from Malaysia. Japanese language classes were held in a very traditional sit-down style classroom. Culture classes involve bi-weekly field trips to certain places, such as visiting a sake factory, putting on kimono, and visiting the Toyota Museum. Throughout my study here, I spent most of my time at the Nishin campus, where we would go to the Nishin campus, um, it was four days a week, while we went to the major Koen campus once every Wednesday. So our main teacher was Tanabe Junko-sensei, She's in charge of teaching us grammar, vocabulary, and she's also the one who organizes our field trips and culture classes. Our other teachers were Akiyama Yoko Sensei, who taught us some Japanese grammar but mainly focused on Japanese speech, while the next teacher is um, Oshirami Ayaka Sensei, who taught us kanji. Together with Soyeon, I joined a club called the Koryu Circle, which roughly translates to Exchange Circle Club, where the Japanese members hold activities to introduce Japanese culture to international students. Together, we did things such as playing yakunishu, sado, cooking, and countless drinking parties, which gave me a very good insight into the things that Japanese people did for fun, which was interesting to me when I contrasted it against my own culture. Of course, through this, I was able to meet many local friends from differing backgrounds, and before we left the university, everyone kind of did like a little uh, takoyaki party or takopa they call it in short as a farewell party for us exchange students who were going back this semester. So as to why I chose to come to Aichi Prefecture and this university specifically, it's because my elder sister actually joined the same program and told me how much she enjoyed her time here. As I enjoy exploring the lifestyle and cultures of other countries, Staying in Tokyo or Osaka did not feel like I was truly pushing my comfort zone as those places are too metropolitan and I'm speaking from the perspective of someone who has been to both places before. Therefore, I chose to come to Nagoya. So Nagoya is the capital city of Aichi Prefecture and the fourth biggest city in Japan. However, unlike most of the big cities here, it's the only one that isn't teeming with foreigners, meaning that the Japan experience that you get here is as authentic as it gets for a big city. This allowed me to place myself in a forced environment where learning Japanese and assimilating was somewhat necessary. So the place I stayed at is called the Koksai Ryugakusei Kaikan, which is an international student dormitory in Nagoya that houses international students from all over Nagoya. The rooms provided here are single studio style rooms where you have your own private bathroom and kitchen. Through staying here, I became friends with people from Korea, Germany, Taiwan, Brazil, China, India and many more. And with these friends, I traveled around Japan while getting to learn a lot about the cultures and behaviors of people from different countries. Eh,と日本語もちゃんと勉強しておいたから少しだけ日本生活について日本語で話したいと思います。まあでも日本語下手なのでちょっと勘弁してください。
その僕にとって日本生活はマレーシアに比べて全く異なりますルールも厳しくて人もいつも時間通りで道もとても綺麗でそして何より公共交通はとてもいいですまあ一人で海外に行くのは怖いかもしれないけどその人の成長のためにとてもいい経験になれますえー、と僕の場合はその言語の壁少しだけ越えたら本当になんか新しい世界入ったみたいなんか本当に日本人友達にお互い様を理解することができていろんなところへ連れてくれましたなんか陶芸とサーキットまで連れて行ったりロードティップを行ったりして本当にめっちゃ楽しかった。それとお正月を過ごすために友達が家でホームステイしに誘ってくれた。Overall, this was a great experience for me and I was able to assimilate really well, so it was bittersweet for me to leave my Japanese community behind. However, living abroad also gave me a new appreciation for Malaysia and I've managed to convince quite a few people to come here for vacation and perhaps come to Utah for a student exchange. Once again, I'd like to thank everyone who made this possible. My parents, Yuta, Aichi Gakun University, and of course, all the great people I met in Japan. I can't wait to go back to Japan again.